Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to start today's video with an appeal. A couple of weeks ago we were at the Overland show and I met a gentleman who was telling me about his adventures. He's from Blackburn or Burnley. He's currently living in Dumfries but for the past 12 months he's been driving the Pan American Highway. <laughs> He's living the best life, I tell you. He's got a converted man truck and it's currently sat in Baja in Mexico. He's had to come home for some family reasons, some personal reasons, and we had a fantastic chat. Now, during our conversation, he handed me his card. I went on a bike ride <laughs> and lost it. I am absolutely gutted. I've been trolling the internet, trying to find his, um, his blog, because it really interested me. Um, it, that's a journey I'd love to do myself. So if you know this guy, or you are watching this video at the minute because you said you were a subscriber, please drop me a comment or send me an email at thecraftyblinders.com. Uh, sorry, thecraftyblinders.gmail.com. And uh, I'd, love to, I'd love to read your story. So anyway, if anybody knows the guy, or you are the guy, please get in touch. Anyway, let's get into today's video. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's see if we can get this back. Evening and welcome back to the channel. So, today, this weekend, it's been kind of a maintenance weekend. Getting all the little jobs done that uh, I didn't get done because of bigger jobs. So, it's been a good weekend, to be honest. Let me show you what we've been doing. We fitted a new camera, the old one had glazed up a little bit, become a little bit manky. Where is it? It's on here somewhere, but anyway, there it is. That's it, look under it. The old one had become a little bit manky. I've split it down, I've dried it all out, it was condensating up, so I'll clean that up, keep it as a spare. Look at all the different adapters that were on it. Do you know what I mean? All them made that one work, this one here, needed hardly anything. Anyway, we've done that. We've also tidied up, let's zoom out a little bit. Also tidied up these corners. Picked up a few marks since we've done the back to black on them. We've also polished a few marks out the side of the van, a few scratches. There was a big one, I think you can just maybe still see a little bit of it. It's quite a big scrape down there. Still a bit more work to do there. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually there. So, yeah, just generally tidying things up. Trying to get that shine and luster back onto the van. Yeah, we've done a couple of bits on this corner as well. Just pushing it through bushes and lanes and stuff like that. It picks up a few marks. But... It's kind of getting close to our own camp out, the one at Lawton, and I wanted a barbecue point fitted before we actually, before that weekend. Um, we've got a little pizza oven, we're going to knock some pizzas out. We've had this pizza oven for about probably six weeks now. One of the guys at work, I was talking to him about it, and he says, oh, don't buy one, I've got one in my garage. So, cheers Tony, thank you very much for that. And, once we get this gas <laughs> supply done, I'm going to give it a little trial run. But uh, let me show you what I've been doing. So we've actually added a bullfinch gas outlet. And this is right beside our rear wheel. I've kind of put it behind the mud flap so it shouldn't get too dirty. This area doesn't get that dirty. Look, I've got a little bit more polishing to do around here. That was actually a big dent in there, so... I've put the bullfinch there to get rid of that damaged bit of material, bit of metal. I can polish these scratches out. But the idea is we have a wheel table. So we'll put the wheel table here. The door can still open. We can still have our own in leg out. And this can be our barbecue point. So we're still under the awning when it's out. We still have all the use of that area. But we can sit the barbecue on top of the wheel table. So that's the plan behind that. I've already done the hole. That's all I've done. I've done none of the pipe work. So 
<laughs> you don't need to see me drill a hole, but I'll show you what I'm going to do with all the rest. This is like my second home underneath this van. I seem to spend so much time here. But we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll flip the camera around so you can have a look. So these, this is my cable run. And behind that is the gas pipe that runs from our tank. So that goes off and, sorry, up there to the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is split it around about here. Drop a two piece, let's come back a little bit. Split it there, drop a pipe down here, we'll run along the back of there, and we're going to put a hole through there and grommet that hole. First job we've done, loosen that off. Actually, second job because we've done the gas. So we've loosened these off, get these up out of the way. I'm going to take that off now. Get that off. We don't need to take that completely out, we can slide it out of the way. Then I've got this wooden wedge. I'm just going to pop that under there and push on it to bring the pipe out so I can cut it. I think that'll do us. Let's give us a good gap behind it now. So we'll find the straightest bit, which is round about there where we wanted it. And we'll just cut that with a hacksaw. There you go. Oh no, it sticks. There you go. So the pressure that was in the pipe works now gone. I maybe should have <laughs> maybe should have released that. Um but we know it's gone now anyway. <laughs> Jesus. What we will do, we'll dress up the ends. I'll just use a Stanley blade for that. We'll just... We'll just rock it round. Loosen it off. There we go. Let's just show you a close up of that. So, we've got the olive over the pipe. We now need to just slot the pipe inside this end. Now we've got it in. Push that up, nip it up a little bit, um, this end. What we're going to do is push them together and nip them up. I've decided to tighten these up before I go any further. So I've got the spun on the two piece. Adjustable, sorry, and the spanner tighten it up. This coupling, right. I think that'll be tight enough. I don't want to go over tightening them. Okie dokie, time to take that off. There's a drill bit in there, can you see it? Hiding down in the bottom. So this is a little off-cut of pipe that I've had for a while. I use it for, this is my bend radius. It's what I'm quite happy with installing. Um, so that there is set in, telling me basically how far down I need to go to get, to achieve the right angle bend in the pipe and uh, where it'll pop out on, well, where I need to drill the grommet really, on the back side. So for us, we just need to measure that distance there. So that works out there at 75 mil. So I need to try and work out 
from there, where 75, on the back of there, where 75 mil transfers through. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do though. So, through that hole, and then down 75 mil. And somehow I need to put a mark down there, which is 75 mil. Oh, good fun. I don't want to put too many holes in the van. I don't want to put any more holes in the van than I need to. So I'm going to look for a body line, which I think there is there. I'm running the tape. Can you see in there? There's a body line there. Yeah, there is. So if we say that's in line with the bottom of that. I'll tell you what, let's use the camera. Nice little shit up there. Oi! Oi! Recording down here, yeah? Can you keep it down? Thank you. Ooh, dive bombers. Look, we're gonna dive bombers then. <laughs> Sorry. On the back of there, there's a ridge. So I'm gonna find out roughly where that ridge translates to on in relation to where we need to be. So let's try and put the light on. I've got a light on now. Let's have a look in there. So there we have a grommet there already. Maybe we use that grommet. That might just be a bit too hard to to make that happen. But we can determine where that is in relation to this hole. So I'm going to put a mark from here straight across to the back with a with a sharpie. And then we'll we'll work out where we are from there. Oh, I think you're gonna like this. Look at that specialist tool. So what we'll do is we'll try and keep that level, and we'll offer it into the room. And when we hit, we'll just put a line. Right, let's have a little look. Light on. Did we have a mark? And there it is. What you looking at? What you looking at? What are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, we're working. We're not playing. We're working. We're working. No, we're working. It's not play time. <laughs> Come on, we're under the van. <laughs> we're under the van. Come on, coming under. So I think that grommet is there. And that's, that's that piece, there's nothing up there, so that's that piece that we're shown, so way around about here, if I put my hand up the back side, yeah, so the hole's in line with there, so that's us, yeah, so we need to be 75 mil below that, but what I've done, centre line right down from the grommet, 75 mil from the base of there to there and then that there's a width of the file so i've still got it here i'll show you that's the width of the file there you go so that's where i put my grommet that's hole 397 in the van um we're just going to offer up the bullfinch now make sure it comes through all right let's offer this up there's a hole. There we go. <laughs> so from there to there is 15, 14 inch. So I'll we'll bend it up. To there. What we'll do is we'll put a mark on the end of here so we know where that is. Right, jobs are good, let's get it all stripped out. So, another thing where this hole is, I thought I was gonna have to drill like a, a vent in the bottom, but we have a vent here. So, this is a water drain, so that catches any water that goes into this sill and uh. 
Let it run out there. So any gas that, if any gas leaks from the back of that bullfinch, we know it's going to leave via that hole. That's good. Little poop. What you doing? <laughs> In for a cuddle. Good girl. So this is how your copper pipe will arrive. It's on a nice big reel. And I tell you what, it's an absolute pleasure straightening a knot. <laughs> it's a one job I hurt. It just I'm a bit of you might have picked up, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and that stuff there I hate it. So I can't actually find the tool that I used to bend that. So I've had to bend this by eye um, around a can. So I just laid the can on the bench and just I just bent it round it to be honest. Um, <laughs> I had no other option. It's either turn the whole place upside down or trying to find the foreman tool, but for what it is I'm I'm a couple of millimetres out, so not bad. So I can live with that. Now, what we need to do is thread this through the... Oh, God. I must have already loosened that off. So again, put the bush on the pipework. And push the pipework all the way home. And we need to nip this up. So this will be our... The last time we see this connection, um, I've, I could do with really testing it, but I don't know how to test it as it is. So what I'll have to do is, once everything's primed up, I'll do a leak test on it. Um, what I'll do is I'll spray all the joints, and this will be the only joint that I can't spray. So what I'll do with that one is, I'll put a pressure test on, and that'll tell me if this is leaking. Is it tight? I'm going to feed that all the way through. <laughs> Good luck. While we've got the pipe work off as well, the 25 mil grommet that we're going to use, I'm just going to make a mark on the back with the pipe. So all I'm doing is just rubbing that round like that, and that leaves us a mark there. So I've done it off centre. So if this doesn't line up 100%, we can rotate this to suit. Yeah? You'll see. I'm going to have to put some screws in this just to hold it in place while I try and form the pipework. It's just all over the place at the minute. Just need to get back under now and have a look at how that pipe works. I'm gonna <laughs> miraculously end up where I want it. Um, trying to do it in one pipe, probably a bit too uh, a bit too adventurous. I may have to cut it down there and uh, do a second piece going along, but we'll have a look. We'll have a look. I've got the bits to do it, but I don't. I didn't really want to put another joint in. I think what we'll do, we'll work that grommet in now to support that pipe. That's good. I think what I need to do now, if this is quite soft, this pipe, we'll. Just Bring it round nice and gentle, and then we'll get to here. Start bending it up. How's that looking? So what I'll do is. Pull it down just a little bit, mark it up with where we want to cut it. That 
Do it. Yeah, I think we'll definitely pleat that down there. Probably there, just to pull it in a little bit further. Right, so on the bottom of the regulator, there is a test point. Um, what we'll do is we'll turn the gas off first. I don't know if it will work any other way. So let's cover off, let's turn. Is that close? That's it closed. Right, bottom of here is our test point. Remember about the proper lead. Let's back off. So that just screws on the bottom there. And we turn the meter on. Set it to last time. It's gone really bad. Yeah, it is dropping, so let's tighten all these up. Okay, just pretty much where it was yesterday. Let's see if we get any more bubbles back. Tiny leak there. Tiny, tiny leak. So let's nip that up and see how the gauge holds up. Well, I think we've cleared it. Before we start the test, we want to spray all the joints just to make sure. There's no leaks at these points, even the end of the bellow. I do have it clamped because that was leaking. So this is what we're using. It's just standard spray, leak detector. Um, get it in any plumbing shop. But it's good stuff, it indicates well. As you can see, we've got no leaks. Happy days. So we've got it right up to pressure, this is basically as far as it'll go. We should be five times the operating pressure, which I believe is 30 millibars, so we are. We're not five times, but we're four and a bit. So, normal working pressure is way below that. So, this can only drop 10%, if, I'm, if I remember right. 5%, 10%, 5%. 5%. We'll go for 5% anyway. We can only drop 5% over the next 10 minutes. So, that's the reading there. Um, and we'll leave it. I'll come back to it in a few minutes. It only dropped 2.1 millibar, so that's a pass for me. Well, <laughs> it happened. We got the barbecue point in, and the weather changed, so we've got it fired up anyway. I've had to, I've had to borrow this one off my mate Mark. Um, it's the one we use quite a lot when we're out camping with them, but it's a, it's a brilliant little barbecue. Guess what I forgot to do? Yeah, I forgot to order one. I've put the barbecue point on, and I haven't ordered a barbecue, so I'll, if you guys can recommend one, I've had a look at the Kadak 50, but I like the idea of them new Kadaks, they're like, um, they're a bit like two hot plates, but um, we'll have a look. But, if you've got something you prefer, share some pictures with us, share some comments on Facebook and what have you, comment on this video. But yeah, today, tonight's the test run, so we're going to have burgers. <laughs> just something quick and cheerful, just wanted to prove it really. But uh, in between the rain, it's been raining all day, so it's now 7 o'clock at night, and we're going to have some tea. Right, let's see how it goes in. down a little bit. Let's check on these. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. They're perfectly cooked through. Right, let's get them all off.
and just like that it's the end of another video um i hope you've enjoyed it the barbecue point has been used and abused we've just had our camp over down at lawton thank you for everybody that attended i've had nothing but lovely messages and warm wishes since then and everybody want me to arrange the next one so that is in the pipeline we are dealing with that um just a few details to finalize but we're going to probably do another two this year one in august and one in october but yeah it's been really good the barbecue point works a treat but just remember go back to the beginning of the video i'm trying to find somebody we had a brilliant conversation um he told me about a journey that he was on now if you are that guy please drop us a line leave a comment if you know that guy please tell him i'm asking after him and i'd like to get in contact thanks very much and we'll see you again thank you for your continued support if you like what we're doing consider subscribing liking and sharing with your friends also you can follow us on facebook and instagram thanks for watching and until next time take care